how do you also encourage innovation when you have such a strong uh, focus and value proposition on reliability? You know, we can never ever be down and yet I'm telling the engineering team to fail fast and innovate and experiment. How do you manage those two things? Well, I, I would say in terms of the innovation, this is where, especially for leaders, you have to be very open. And when I, again, you know, looking at my uh, path within Google, there was one phrase that I loved. Ideas really can come from everywhere. And so you have to be on the constant lookout for that person that's, you know, trying to raise their hand to say, I think I have an idea. Or what if, you know, it's, I think I have an idea or a what if, you have to have your antennas up looking for those individuals. And that's one of the reasons why I have open office hours. You know, part of it is just being as a leader, being accessible, but I do it in 15 minutes. So it's, you know, speed dating in many respects, uh, but it's amazing what you can accomplish in 15 minutes. And so I have many people that have an idea, but they feel that, I, you know, I have that open door and they will come to me. Yeah. And they'll say, what if we, you know, what do you think about this? Should we be doing this? And this is like a great opportunity to be able to assess an idea. You might have feedback or it's just like, let's try this. Let's just see, you know, how this works out. And so I, I think that, that just living with the premise of ideas come from everywhere creates an openness for them for, for really innovation to happen. Um, it has been a really unique 12 months. I mean, I, you and I have never met in person, have we? I don't think so. It's all been over Zoom. And yet we had a pretty thorough process to, to vet board candidates and think about who would be the right fit for the PagerDuty board. And I, we have many employees who have never met a Dutonian in person and not been in a PagerDuty office. Just a weird year. When you look at all the crises that we have experienced that have kind of arisen, um, has has there been any good to come out of that? Like as a result of all these crises that you've seen, do you think there's been any positives as it relates to our diversity and inclusion efforts or the dialogue or the opportunity that's out there? I, I do think there has been um, some goodness that has come out of it. I, I do think, for example, if we look back on 2020 and what happened, and uh, there was this great report from McKinsey that I think is, is an example of what's happened in other areas as well, but they said that e-commerce pen penetration grew 10 years in three months. So if we actually place that around what was happening in DNI. In fact, what was probably taking a slower process went through an accelerated cycle uh, some were comparing it to sustainability. You know, we were talking about that, you know, many, many years ago, but then now all of a sudden uh, it's in the boardroom and we're talking about ESG, which is the environment, the social and the governance. And so I do think um, what's come out of this is more accelerated thinking and also commitments from the top. Uh, I think the follow through will be the interesting one, you know, making those commitments, but they were made at the top and, and there's just so much that is um, being committed in, an, in a number of different ways that I believe uh, that we're, you know, I remain optimistic. Um, it will either be everlasting or it will be fleeting. Um, but I do think that uh, there will be a commitment from the biz on the business side and from the business leaders. It has been such an absolute pleasure to have you with us. And we're so excited to have you in the Dutonian crew. So thank you so much for being a part of our Take the Lead series. And uh, we look forward to seeing you many, many more times.